This video is sponsored by the Grim Hollow Player's Guide, a fantastic Kickstarter that hit its goal in exactly 2.3 picoseconds. The book's cool, it's got some neat stuff in it, but who cares about that because the cinematic is absolutely incredible. Salvation is within all of us. All you have to do is fight. They brought on Jennifer Hale, who voiced Samus from Overwatch, to do the narration. Also, I made three stretch goal classes for it, and all of them got unlocked already. I beg you, please, go to the Kickstarter. My life may or may not depend on it. Look, there I am. Look, there's the premium Darkwood Gaming Box. Click the link in the description, watch the movie, and back the project. If that's what you want to do. Okay, it's spooky time. And you know what's scarier than ghosts, ghouls, and big rolling fog? The hoarding of unethically earned wealth. So I made a mansion. Now let's put some spooky stuff in it. Starting in the vestibule, where our lovely guests will end up first. When entering, the bell on the door will proc the magic mouth spell. It can only have 25 words, but it can go on for 10 minutes and use any language. Music is a language, and the Fortnite dance theme communicates to the human mind that everything around you is bad. So it blares a distorted version for a full 10 minutes. The door can be opened again, but touching the door handle on the inside triggers the Finger of Death spell, and starts the song all over again. Here there are four coat hangers that will immediately animate and try to take the guest's armor, by force. Okay, that's it, let's move on. The door into the main hall. The door handle is an Xbox One controller, and you have to subscribe to the Haunted House's mail list by putting your email in using the controller. It's a classic horror trope. Enter the main hall. Here, nothing but a giant piano rests being played by this sick skeleton from Goat Story, accompanied by rolling fog and twin stairs that go up to the next floor. And three doors. Approaching the skeleton causes it to immediately get eaten by the piano, and it turns out that the piano is from Mario 64. So don't approach it. Behind door number one lies a library that looks like the library from Spongebob in the episode where he felt bad about being ugly. In the library, 50% of the books are Mein Kampf, and the rest are owner's manuals for various refrigerators. There will always be six ghosts and a handful of zombies perusing the library. The ghosts immediately try to possess anyone who enters and force them to read the collection forever. And the zombies, at the same time, try to hard sell expensive refrigerators to you during hour-long presentations. If you sit down and read an entire Mein Kampf cover to cover, your alignment becomes lawful evil. And maybe your head explodes, I haven't decided yet. Going back, behind this next door is a dining room. Inside is a sweet-smelling fog that draws you in, magically begging you to sit down and enjoy a nice meal. There's only one problem here, naturally. All the food is very, very convincing wax, and all the chairs are mimics that eat your ass. If you somehow survive the experience, you can continue further into the kitchen. In here, there's a bunch of crawling claws that run around like the rats in Ratatouille. They follow the orders of the head chef, who is aghast. A stinky, stinky ghast. The whole place smells like cheese because of him. It's horrible. There are two doors here, one says storage and one says employees only. In the storage, there's a bunch of normal food, except all of it is exactly one day past the expiration date, and you're not really sure if it's good still. The only stuff that isn't expired here are the spices on the spice rack. And now it's time for Runesmith's Spice Review Corner. Today's spice is turmeric, a close relative of the well-known ginger root that shares its appearance and family. Its earthy tones, although pungent and respectably bitter, are much weaker than ginger. As a standalone spice, it's pretty weak. However, in curry powder, it helps crush the competition. I give it a strong 3 out of 5. In the employee room is a small surveillance computer that shows the current location of the animatronics that roam around the house. The third door, back in the main hall, leads to a hallway with a large mirror on the left side. Entering the hallway and turning the corner traps you in a permanent loop, where no matter what direction you're facing, you hear a thumping heartbeat behind you. Each time you round a corner in the hall, the mirror shows a different funny little character standing behind you. And lastly, up the stairs. They both lead to two different doors. The first is a lavish bedroom. Under the bed is a portal to the abyss, and in the closet there are exactly 372 living shadows. In the other room, two things can happen. If opened outward, you will find a demi-lich stuck trying to figure out his tax returns. 
If you try to help him, you instantly become a lich and realize that these are your taxes and you have to do them forever. If opened inward, you find a staircase. The staircase from Mario 64. This whole mansion is actually just Mario 64 and I, I've been lying to you. That that's, that's the end of my video. There's no bathroom. That's part of the experience. You have to pee your pants.